Do you suffer from L4, L5 disc bulge pain? How do you find relief? Well, I had this patient came in, let's call him Jim, who he came to me two years after the start of his back and leg pain from an L4, L5 disc bulge. And he had severe pain, limitation. When I checked his spine, there was lots of inflammation and he was reacting to every check that I was doing with him. Could hardly get through the physical examination. Unfortunately, Jim ended up in surgery. He just got to the treatment area a little too late. Then I had another patient, let's call her Jane. She had severe low back pain, her posture was completely distorted and shooting leg pain right down into her leg and foot and numbness and tingling into her thigh as well because of an L405 disc bulge. And the difference with Jane is that she did not wait a long time to start care. She came in immediately after the start of her symptoms within the first couple of days. And we started working with her, we started adjusting her, we started correcting her spine. And within weeks, she went from 10 out of 10 plus pain right down to zero pain over the course of the next several weeks. So the takeaway point is don't wait, get help. Exercises can be useful at home. Sometimes they don't correct the problem. What needs to be looked at is the spine. And I'll tell you one of the most common areas that are missed on the spine in a moment. Hey there, I'm Dr. Walter Salubro. I'm a corrective care chiropractor in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. And what this channel is about is giving you tips and strategies on how to stabilize and strengthen your back and even how to correct your spine. Like this, you can live a life doing the things you wanna do happily and normally without pain and limitation. If you want these tips and strategies, be sure to click on the subscribe button below, tap on the notification bell, like this you don't miss out on these weekly updates. So if you have an L4, L5 disc bulge, even an L5, S1 disc bulge, associated symptoms like back pain, buttock pain, leg pain, foot pain, numbness and tingling to the toes, trouble sleeping, trouble walking, distorted posture, you need to get a structural assessment of your spine. One of the key areas that need to be looked at is the sacrum. The sacrum is the bone here at the base of the spine between the pelvis. Why is it important? Because it's where the spine sits on. Oftentimes, a distortion in the sacral alignment can actually wear down the discs and the disc fibers over time at L5, which is just above the sacrum, and also L4. I've helped many, many people get through pain from disc bulges and leg pain associated with nerve irritation from disc bulges just by working and correcting the actual sacrum. So another takeaway point is if you're just doing functional rehabilitation or exercises in and of itself, they're not bad. They're actually really great. We re recommend many of them on my channel and also for my patients in their care plan. But we always start with structural rehabilitation first. Start with a structural analysis of your spine with x-rays. Start with a postural assessment. Rule out any contraindications and start working on stabilizing the spine at the base of the spine, which is the sacrum, and then of course the rest of the spine. And that's what corrective chiropractic care and chiropractic care in general works on. And remember, don't give up. No matter where you are in your journey with your L405 disc bulge injury or L5S1 disc bulge injury, don't give up. I have people come to my office from hours away because they're looking for help. But the key thing is don't give up. Your body has the ability to heal. An optimal spine equals optimal health. Get the help when you need it. Don't give up. There's always a way to recover as long as it's not too far down the line where it requires surgery. And in many cases, disc bulge injuries do not end up in surgery unless it's a neurologic compromise to the organ systems, which of course is an emergency. But don't give up. You got this. Get the help. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. And look at this video right here as your next video to watch. Like this, you continue your learning about L405 disc bulge and the kind of things you can do and look for when you're looking for either exercise or treatment.